Hello and welcome to Straight Up by Eric's Life with me, Mritika Banerjee. In the midst of the ongoing debate surrounding institutional segregation and the persisting spectre of casteism, IIT Hyderabad has allegedly and quietly joined the ranks of IIT Bombay by introducing segregated dining areas for vegetarians. What does this imply? Let's delve into the details. Food has long been intertwined with India's caste system. Historically, the idea of pure and impure food has played a role in caste-based discrimination and the choice between vegetarian and non-vegetarian food often reflects one's cultural and religious affiliations, further complicating the matter. So when a public institution like IITs decide to partition their dining spaces based on an individual's dietary preferences, the issue transcends mere culinary peace. How did the matter unfold in IIT then? After it was found out in a survey that a few students wanted a separate eating space for vegetarian students, the institute decided to go ahead with it. However, registrations for the mess were given on a first-come, first-served basis and students found themselves forced to register for the veg-only mess after the mess with non-vegetarian food was filled up. In a mail exchange between students and the Gym Khana, which is the student body of IIT Hyderabad, complaints arose that the rat race for mess registrations will be even more intense, with a few accusing the student's body of lack of transparency when it comes to the poll results and the decision making. It was also pointed out that the move may lead to a culture of discrimination and students who eat meat should not be forced to eat vegetarian food just because the registrations were full. Now let's turn to Dr. Sylvia Karpagam, a public health doctor and researcher for a deeper perspective on the controversy surrounding the segregation of dining spaces. Institutions of higher education are supposed to be spaces for scientific thinking, uh, inclusion and diversity and they can actually be a role model for the rest of the society. But as we know, uh, the casteism within these spaces is almost institutionalized and the recent incident of pushing for vegetarianism, um, you know, separate uh, vegetarian eating counters uh, shows that, uh, you know, these age-old prejudices are just being reinforced. Instead of using this opportunity to uh, put out the message that animal source foods are very important, nutritious diets are important and uh, that diversity inclusion is very important. Uh, especially in a country like India, which already has so many prejudices and already has so much of malnutrition and such a poor understanding of nutrition and already, uh, you know, vegetarianism has many consequences on, uh, you know, marginalized communities. These kind of institutions could become role models and instead they become uh, spaces to reinforce all these existing prejudices, which is really very sad and unfortunate. So what do you think about it? Where do we draw a line between personal choices and societal accommodation? Should anybody's food habits be a reason for our earth? Let us know in the comments below. That is all from us today. Do like, share and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to mask up and stay safe.